Why do you sometimes see unburnt trees next to a burnt down house? Conspiracy theorists would say this is because the houses were actually vaporized with beams of energy from space. But the actual reason, as many people have pointed out, is simply that the wood in the houses is dry and the wood in the trees is wet. Now if you don't have a wood fire in your house, this might be a bit hard to understand, so I set out to do an experiment to demonstrate this. The first stop was my attic, which like most new houses in California has an internal frame of 2x4s. There was a bit of scrap wood left over from construction. This was the same wood as the frame of my house, so it was ideal for testing. I then went out back to chop a live branch off a live tree. I then chopped both the attic wood and the live wood into pieces about the same size. When I weighed the attic wood it came out at about a pound and a quarter. I then weighed the uh, same size piece of tree wood and it came out to be nearly twice as much. And most of that extra weight is coming from water. I then built a symmetrical fire from kindling and put the live wood on the left and the attic wood on the right. I lit the fire and fed it more kindling when it went out. It was very obvious during the process that the live wood never caught on fire, whereas the attic wood started burning almost straight away. If you look at the twigs and the leaves in the back, you see they do actually flare up at one point. But most of the live wood remained unburnt. The attic wood, on the other hand, was on fire for several minutes and was charred part way through. In fact, when I chopped the uh, two pieces of wood in half, you could see that the dry wood was nearly half burnt. And the uh, wood from the tree only just had a bit of blackening around the edge. It was essentially undamaged. And remember, these were subject to essentially exactly the same fire. Since the pieces were a bit large, I did another experiment that was more to scale with my small fire. I used a live twig and a small piece of dry attic scrap. Since the wood was small, then any burning would be more sustained and complete. And what happened again was the live wood just got a bit sooty, but this time the dry wood burned up completely. In fact, the live wood was just as strong as it was before, but the dry wood had pretty much turned to dust, just like those houses.